welcome back or welcome to my channel if you are new today you guys we are going to be doing this little beehive set i'm on the fence about it but i really like the design and everything i didn't want a bright looking type of beehive set so these are the items that i use freeze your screen so you can see them and if you are interested in how i accomplished this set please stay tuned so you guys like always i pre prep my nails you know i use the pill off base we're gonna go back in with this mccart poly gel and baboa i believe that's how you pronounce that my goal was to get like a jelly black look and i knew this poly gel if you put it on thin you can get that black jelly look this is for the average person i am not a nail tech i am a nail enthusiast because I want to save a little bit of money. It, this set right here probably would have cost $150 at the nail salon. And literally those charms were, well go to my Timu haul. Them charms was just a couple dollars, if not under a couple dollars. The tips were a few dollars. The poly gel I actually got in a monthly subscription. So it's really cost efficient to try to learn how to do your own nails at home because ain't no way I'm paying $150 at the nail salon. So when applying a poly gel, make sure to apply it really thin because we are going to encapsulate the chunky glitter on top of this layer. So you don't want the nail to be too thick. So I will be laying the chunky glitter hexagon pieces in the shape of a honeycomb. Just of note, these little glitters, they stick together. So you might think you have one and there really be three of them, you see here. So I'm going to make sure not to get any of the small pieces of the glitter and only do the hexagons and put them in the shape of a honeycomb. Here I'm making a little bead trail out of the smaller circular glitters and I'm going to just make a little swirly bead trail and I'm actually going to encapsulate like I said before but on top of the encapsulation I'm going to double up on this bead trail to make it even more vibrant and you will see what I'm talking about and it will all make sense.
And lastly, on my thumb, I am going to be making like a scattered type of honeycomb. Just little clumps of honeycomb. It turned out really, really cute. In here I'm going in with clear patties gel and I'm going to encapsulate all the nails So now that I'm all finished and I'm ready to go ahead and file, I am going to wipe off the tacky layer really good so I can go ahead and shape and file these nails. So now that we're all done with shaping and filing, we're going to go right in to this nail art. And this is the nail that I'm going to be doing, like the dripping honey. This is the first time I've ever done any drips. so. I'm surprised it came out this good. You guys might be wondering what is this black gel on my little plate here. Earlier I was messing around with trying to get this black jelly look. So I even tried it with gel polish um, earlier, but I think I like the way it looks better with the poly gel, the black poly gel. Now to give the honey a little dimension, I am going to mix this brown with a little bit of clear poly gel and some of that black jelly poly gel that I made up. Um, just so I can give the honey some type of dimension and give it a little bit more of a caramel look like a, like how honey looks if that makes sense So now I'm going in to do the second layer of the glitter on my index finger to make that bee trail pop a little bit more and you'll see what I'm talking about here in a second.
even though my nails are matte, I'm going in with this shiny top coat and just trailing the glitter. I don't know if this made it look better or worse. I'm still on the fence about this. I'm wondering if I should have just left it matte, but it just makes the glitter on the nail set pop. Now, if you made it this far in my video, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can be notified each and every time I post new content. And comment down below if you have any tips for me because I'm still a beginner. 